Hi everyone, it's CJ, and I'm sure you'll recognize this view, my kitchen table. I'm getting ready to set it up for <clears throat> a morning of doing jelly prints. And this basically is a cart that I keep, I would say, probably 99% of all of my art supplies on container of paint right there will go right down there on the bottom shelf and this container of templates and stencils will go on top of it. Okay. As I'm working, a lot of times I will pull out this book. This is a book that I use just to wipe things off on. Let's see, I naturally would have it the wrong direction. Here. And who knows what I'll do with it at a later date. You know, they all become something. But anyway, it lives right here in front of my paper. That paper is cardstock and I use that probably more than anything else. These little cookie tins were given to me. This one has words that I save. This has little bits and pieces that I save. My gelatos. That bin has all of my lace and my trims and my ribbon. And then down here, I've got two more of those tins. And below that is where I keep my tape. Here are my buttons. This has been a great container to keep buttons in because I can pull it out and just keep the buttons by color in here. This is one of those photo boxes you can get at Michael's and that leads right there and right here I've got little tiny pieces of lace and decorative butterflies and that's my chalk inks um, this is a tray that I will sit on my chair next to the TV and just cut out scraps, punch things, that type of thing. Okay, and that's what it looks like there. On top, these two containers have these pockets, these big pockets like that. And I keep scraps in there. Oh, just things that you save, old calendars. Um, just things people have given me. And then on the end, I've got two containers that um, I've divided up into categories of things. Like, if I'm looking for an animal picture, I might look in there. And then there in the back, well, let's see, this tray holds my stamping acrylic pieces. <coughs> Excuse me. And then I've got a container there that holds stickers and bits and pieces. And this was given to me. It's basically just a kit's stencil set. It comes in handy. When I get ready to paint, here's my water, my brushes, my color pencils. I'm going around to the other side now. Down here is where I've got my paper towels attached. This, okay, this is beads. Probably can't get it open one-handed. There we go, different kinds of beads. And I've got little tiny ones in there. And bigger ones here. And then findings down here. Things like if you're going to make a bracelet or something. 
this is the back side that we're looking at right now. These clips I use to clip wet, wet paper. So when I get through doing my jelly printing today, they'll clip it to this. And there are my markers. This is the thing that I'll set out. It's got glues and tapes. And then below it are my washi tapes. And that either purchased or been given. I uh, generally use a lot of the washi tapes that I make. Down below are the tools. You can see tools down there. And then this little bin. When I'm working on something where there's a lot of scrap paper, I'll just set that next to me and put all my little scraps in there. And then later on, I'll separate it all out. These two bins right here are pieces of scrap paper that they're bigger and I haven't decided just what to do with yet. Okay, now we're going to come around to the side. And then these two containers, these are where I keep things separated out. For example, this one. And this one a long, long time. Let's see if I can get this open. Oh, bear with me. Okay. And we can either go by alphabet or what have you, but it's it's things that I've collected like these are fancy cards. These are some original things that I've done that I might use in other pieces of artwork. Okay. And that basically just lives here on the end, like so. And let's see if I've missed anything. These are my fine liners I keep on top. This is my Mod Podge. Highly recommend you just put your anything that you use like Mod Podge. Put it into one of these bottles like this, uh, along with like your. Oh, different things that you need to squirt out and just have a big area to work from. And I think that is just about it. Let's see. This is my cart that lives against a wall, stays out of the way. When I want to use it, I don't have to uh, carry individual boxes of things to my kitchen table. I can just roll it in here, and I really love it. I got it from Walmart, and I think it was about $60. Super heavy duty. Okay, so there we go. Now I'm going to go back to doing some jelly prints. So, hope you have a great morning. Bye-bye.